hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Chasing. Let's come to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. It's a great time to be alive. I got my coffee. It's early in the morning. It's coffee time. Let's go. Let's get into it, guys, right now without any further delay. We got lots of talk, but it looks like Sam Bankman Fried could be uh, saying that he's going to be refunding all users. Uh, all users of crypto out there, I don't believe it. I think this is just a, a ploy uh, to look good before he goes to court uh, so he doesn't go to, to jail forever, guys. Looks like also, too, uh, we are having a little bit of a geopolitical crisis as well. It seems that Poland uh, says a missile strike on its territory was isolated incident. So it looks like Russia has launched missiles to Poland, so that is not good. But yesterday, we did see that the uh, broader markets were, were pretty good, guys. We're doing very, very good out there. So that is, that is pretty, pretty good. Good. We're seeing that uh, most of the cryptocurrencies right now are coming back, so that is that is positive. We're seeing that uh, right now crypto is up about 1.11%, uh, so that's not too shabby, not too shabby out there. BTC is up, Ethereum is up. We're seeing that uh, everything is up, up, up. We're seeing Cardano is up. We're seeing that uh, Dogecoin is up, and we're also seeing that Polymatic is up. We've got some good news for Polymatic holders as well. We're going to be talking about that. Uh, DXY, it's, uh, it's still at 106.664, so that is looking very, very good, not too shabby. We're seeing the Bitcoin right now is at $16,795 out there. So do you guys think this is the bottom, the new bottom for Bitcoin is already in, and uh, we are going to be continuing to go up from here? Tell me what you think, guys. I think that, uh, you know, I think after the FTX uh, collapse and all that, I think most of the crypto contagion is uh, is absolutely finished, and uh, things should be starting to move up, guys. So uh, things should be starting to get a little bit more positive out there we got some bad news with regards to block so we're going to be talking about that and also salt ex uh, salt exchange as well so we're going to be talking about that let's take a look at the heat heat map uh if the heat map will load so the heat map is looking pretty good we've seen a, a light green everywhere so that is pretty positive you guys should be pretty pumped about that looks like spf plans to refund customers money so this article is kind of uh, swirling around the interwebs right now it says fdf sam bankman fried chicken the scam on artist of the year that his goal is to do right by customers so what does he mean uh he it looks like they're going to take uh, whatever is left in the ftt tokens turn that around and distribute that to their customers so i th i personally think that this is just sam bankman fried trying to look good before he goes to court uh to show some remorse all of that kind of stuff you know when you do bad you want to show that you actually regret it and all that kind of stuff so i think this is this is the lawyers telling him to say out say this go public to try to uh, you know kind of you know polish up a turd guy so he, at the end of the day he's still a turd uh, that's all i can say about that looks like elon musk tells twitter staff that bankruptcy is not out of the question will doge be affected of course you know if if twitter does tank and go bankrupt I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I think this is a little bit hyperbole uh, by the musker to kind of, you know, motivate the troops to get working out there. So I don't think this is going to happen. But sure, if Twitter did uh, go down, uh, we'd lose uh, the Dogecoin tippy jar. We'd lose the uh, Dogecoin uh, as the official currency of Twitter. So yeah, that would be bad. That would be absolutely bad news. And we could probably see that Dogecoin would have a huge dump tankity tank tank you know doge will be on life support what else is coming in looks like polymatic sets all-time high record after nike partnership so it looks like nike is now partnered with polymatic to make nfts and all of that kind of great stuff so that is pretty bullish for the polymatic team out there so that is pretty good uh what else is coming it looks like uh, a crypto community demands this person you know who i'm talking about gary uh to have a investigation into the ftx ties so looks like thousand people have petitioned for congressional investigation investigation into the Gary relationship to FTX uh, and other major players guys so I think this is going to be serious I think I I really think that uh, you know Mr. Adams from Simpsons he looks like Mr. Adams from Simpsons I think his goose is cooked right so it uh, looks like we have over 9,000 messages uh, requesting uh, investigation uh, and we know that uh, Gary met with FTX earlier this year contents of discussion largely unknown and this whole like uh, you know Caroline the whole love child kind of stuff and and Gensler and Bankman Freed, the father and their affiliation to MIT. So it's kind of like all swirling, swirling out there. And, you know, the political donations guys out there. So you know who, who I'm talking about. You know, back Sam Bankman Freed was the biggest con contributor to, you know, which political party. I don't want to say the AI is going to like, you know, clamp on my video like the first video 
yesterday uh, I was talking about you know both parties and this and that and what happened the AI slowed it down and the, and the video tank so I had to be careful looks like uh, you know as we as we uh, a lot of people were worried that Solana uh, was about to release 800 million Solana a lot of people thought that the price is going to be tanking but luckily the market was not hit with a one-time injection so looks like the Solana the the staking of 80 million Solana that has been released it's not going to be all injected at the one time it's going to be a slow 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 drain across uh, not a slow drain but a slow add across multi platforms so that is pretty good so it looks like uh, luckily the market was not hit with a one time injection of the aforementioned sum and the whales will most likely redistribute them evenly across trading platforms so we shouldn't see a huge impact there will be some impact of price going down but it's not going to be major guys absolutely not going to be major so the big news is it looks like blockfi blockfi prepares for potential bankruptcy so if you're holding if you're holding your coins on blockfi I believe that they've uh, they've uh, stopped all withdrawals. Uh, everything uh, I think you can still do deposit. I mean that's always kind of weird, right? When these uh, when these lending platforms go up bankrupt, you can you can deposit, but you can't withdraw. So it looks like BlockFi is going to go the same way as uh, Celsius going way of the dodo. And if they go if they go bankrupt, you and me, the users out there, uh, you're not going to see your little money. It's it's gone. Gotta get some coffee. Tired. So from that perspective, I'd love to hear your comments out there. Anybody is actually anybody out there in my community uh, are using BlockFi? Uh, I know there was a lot of other crypto YouTubers that were talking about it. Um, I think George was talking about. It. I think he's hopefully he's distanced himself away from BlockFi. Uh, so yeah, if you if you're using BlockFi, comment how much you got stuck in there. What are your plans? And uh, have you had any inside uh, information as to what's going on? I'd love to hear what that is all about, guys. So so hit me up with a comment. Looks like crypto lender Salt suspends withdrawals citing FTX collapse. So it looks like uh, Salt. It's a it's kind of like a small uh, a small platform, a, a small exchange out there. So it looks like Salt crypto lending platform has re, uh, reportedly suspended a transaction, including deposit and withdrawals. The announcement came after a sh uh, as a shock to Salt customers through a business communication email sent to subscribers. Uh, it stated to believe that it was from the chief executive officer Sean Owen. The report informed clients that the company was unable to continue their regular operations due to the collapse of FTX. So, looks like another. Uh, so we got the Block Five, we got Salt uh, down, de -de 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 down, down. Also, too, looks like uh, Tron founder Justin Sun takes over Hubei Global. Wow. That is kind of weird out there. So looks like all the executives, the, the CEO, the head of PR have left Hubei. They're out of there. So it looks like uh, Justin Sun has taken over uh, over Hubei. So I don't know if that's good news or bad news. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I mean, I actually have some crypto on Hubei. Uh, I'm going to be taking my crypto off Hubei. Yeah, sure. I'm going to be doing that. And like I said, guys and gals, you know, with all of this crypto contagion, all this stuff happening, we have BlockFi, we have Salt going under now. Uh, it is actually a good time to get yourselves a hardware wallet. Sure, say I'm shilling, I'm shilling, but I'm shilling something that I believe in, something I believe is going to keep you and me and the community safe out there. So get a hardware wallet, guys. I would uh, urge you to do that. There's no reason, absolutely no need to have your crypto on exchanges unless you're actively doing day trading or something like that. If you're just, you know, holding your crypto there, don't hold your crypto on exchanges, guys. Don't do it. Uh, get it on a hardware wallet. And once it's on a hardware wallet, you can actually connect it to DeFi platforms and do staking there, guys. So do it, guys. Get yourself a hardware wallet. The link is down there. I would urge you absolutely to do that. Uh, what is going on with, uh, with uh, let's see, what entities? Let's see if crypto.com. Let's see how crypto.com is doing. Crypto.com is up slightly, but that's because uh, crypto is up. Uh, so looks like most of the platforms are doing okay. Let's take a look at what's going on with Binance. 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 I mean, Binance. What? No, okay. What? Okay, here's Binance. Now, this is kind of weird because Binance was worth over $70 billion. Now Binance has dropped down to $63 billion. What is going on there? That's kind of interesting. I'll see if I can find an update for you about that. But that is kind of interesting that uh, Binance has now dropped uh, from $70 billion to 60, $64 billion right now. So that is a little bit concerning. That is around about, uh, you know, over $4, four billion and change. 
have disappeared up by now. So I'm not alarmed. There's still there's still got lots of uh, gas and tanks so I'm not worried about. Now for our beloved Doja Woja, Doja Woja, as we see that Doja Woja and Forward have this nice um, triangle here. And it looks like Doja is trying to break out. We have resistance around about 10 cents. Uh, so, you know, uh, our next resistance for Doja is around about zero, zero 0.094 out there. So, uh, you know, we're just going sideways, and that's because most of crypto market is going sideways. I expect a lot of sideways, choppity, chop, chop. We're going to be going sideways for at least, I would say, another week or so. You know, we're still getting, you know, these small pot shots of bad news like BlockFi, Salt going down, uh, you know, Justin Sun buying Hubei. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But still, you know, the market is still, people are kind of uh, skittish out there. Steve, people are still worried. This whole uh, Russian uh, missile strike on Poland is not good. Uh, but the broader markets are doing, you know, funnily enough, okay. But crypto is not doing too good. But it is slowly, slowly recovering out there. Let's take a look at what is going on with the Doja Wuja right now. So right now, we're seeing the Doja is up uh, almost 0.81%, and that's at 80.086. It's just shy of $0.09, cents, guys. The uh, volumes are down 47%. So people are just stopping the trading out there, and it's at uh, almost $610 million. Market cap is up at 0.49%, and that's $11.4798 billion out there. So uh, what is going on? You know, nothing really much for Dogecoin news except the Elon Musk thing at Twitter. Nothing really too much is going on. Let's take a look at Into the Block. Put a Digi Woozer out there. Uh, let's uh, refresh, refresh. So we're seeing that mostly 58% uh, are in, 38% are out, and may mostly bearish out right now. Let's take a look at the, let's take a look at the Fear and Greed Index out there as well. The Fear and Greed Index. Time to get some coffee. So we're seeing the sentiment has increased a little bit, but the coffee tastes better. You know, overall, the uh, crypto market, the, the whole sentiment out there is pretty much wackety whack whack out there. Uh, so, uh, guys, don't panic, don't panic. We'll get through this. We always do. Crypto always recovers, just a matter of time. Let's take what's going with Shibi Weeby. Shibi Weeby is still is still uh, at zero nine two uh, four two. Uh, I still has to delete that zero. If, if Shiba, Shiba Inu has to delete a zero, so I know a lot of the Shiba Army are not happy. Uh, things are just kind of going down, dee 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 dee, down down. And uh, but you know we have this huge descending triangle that I did talk about for Shiba Inu, and it's been going on for quite some time. But we we did break out about this was the whole Elon Musk Twitter news big pump here. Uh, then this is the whole FTX crash. Isn't it great? You know we have these great euphoria moments in crypto. Everything's looking good. Elon Musk, yeah, Twitter. And then all of a sudden, Sad Bankman Freed comes along, bang. I wonder, I really wonder how, how, how high crypto would be would uh, would dogecoin be above 10 cents would uh, would uh, bitcoin be above 21000 would doge would uh, shiba inu be back above zero uh, you know four zeros and a one five i think they would if we didn't have the sam bankman free uh, crypto contagion i think we would have you know seen a good recovery and november would have been up to you know would have been amazing because typically november is really good for crypto but so far it's been a, a big debbie down and pooper swan event so right now we are seeing that uh, you know uh, Shiba Inu is down. We're seeing that the only 198 uh, million dollars in volume, down 31 percent, pretty similar to to Dogecoin, and the market cap is about five billion. So nothing much to write home about there. Uh, what's going on for Ethereum? Also, it's just going sideways. Uh, at the uh, support line of 12.50 out there, nothing too much to report. We're seeing the volumes are much lighter. We're seeing volumes are much lighter over the whole crypto space right now. So that is what that's all about. So guys and gals, guys and gals, don't forget to go and follow me on my Twitter. I would appreciate it. Follow, follow, follow. Uh, we have right now, we do have around about uh, 5,141 followers. Interesting fun fact, interesting fun fact. Let me show you. You know, uh, one of the biggest, uh, one of the biggest contributors uh, to you know the dams out there was Sam Bankman Fried. Can you imagine? Can you believe it? Out there, also, guys, be extremely careful. There is a fake Twitter account out there, uh, it looks exactly like mine. It's going by the handle of Crypto Dally Dally Dilly Dally uh, TS. So, watch out for these uh, snowflake knuckleheads. They are um, they're scammers, guys. They're actually scammers, and they've been contacting people, uh, been the messaging people, uh, DM people, DMing people on Twitter and saying, How are you doing? and they're trying to 
sell some kind of, uh, you know, you give us 5000 and we're going to turn to 25000 Don't fall for that. It's complete bogus out there. It's complete bupkis out there, guys and gals. Don't forget to go follow my links, guys, and now let your link is down below. Get it, get it, get it. And don't forget to get the merchy merch gear up with the OG gear. I would appreciate it. So, guys, that's going to bring this crypto video to a close. You will. It's still early morning. OG didn't even shave. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I got my I got my beloved coffee, guys. So remember, crypto is a jungle. Get a hardware wallet. Secure your crypto. Do your own research. Never invest in anything uh, that is younger than two years. Do your own research, guys. And remember, it's your money, not my money. Be safe out there. It's a jungle. Watch out for scammers. If it's try, if it sounds too good to be true, it ain't true. And the OG will never ask you to invest in anything. And I will never reach out and contact you. So be careful out there. It's a crypto jungle. That's all I got. Peace out. Thank you.